This is Frank Cordova here. I'm over at the Pueblo House Community Garden, located specifically next to the Music House, part of the Pueblo House organization. It's located at the corner of 5th Street, East 5th Street, and Hudson. And this is just one of the uh, several garden plots. They're all four foot by four foot in-ground in -ground garden plots, kind of raised beds. The uh, beds are pretty old and uh, they're fall kind of falling apart, so we'll be repairing those soon. But I'm here to talk about soil a little bit. As you can see, we have a few squash plants growing, different sizes, different maturities. There's a real young one over in that corner, a little older one here, and the oldest one over here. This is a heirloom type of squash called Lakota squash. And uh, maybe we'll get to see that um, at the end of the season when they're ready to harvest. But um, I have a little shovel here and I'm just gonna kinda, normally I don't like to dig around in the ground if I don't need to, but I'm going to show you what the soil looks like here. Obviously there's a bunch of weeds and actually most of the weeds that I'm seeing here right now are edible. They're very nutritious actually. This one over here with the tiny little leaves, not the one I'm touching, but this one here with my left hand. This one is called purslane, also known as verdolagas. It's a um, very kind of tart tasting kind of a weed. And this one over here that I have my right hand on, this is calites or wild spinach, also known as um, lamb's quarters. There are different names for it. But um, anyway, just wanted to introduce those weeds and then to kind of show you what the soil looks like. I haven't watered today. I watered yesterday afternoon or early morning pretty good. But um, just the ground cover from these weeds and a little bit of other um, stuff that I added in here, some alfalfa pellets actually. And um, I'll dig a little, it's not super hard, it's kind of soft actually. And um, I only went down, I don't know, about four inches maybe, five inches, and um, you can see it's quite moist underneath still, and um, it breaks apart pretty easily. So it smells pretty good, I think it smells good. It smells like pretty good soil, but um, from the top you wouldn't be able to notice because the top is dry, but underneath it's still pretty moist, which is good because um, we don't have to want to have to water every day, so um, good soil will be dark underneath and pretty moist and kind of crumbly. There's some clay and some sand in this particular plot, but um, it's pretty good soil overall, so I'm just gonna put that back. There's not a lot of worms in here from what I've seen um, digging around here recently, and actually haven't done a whole lot of digging around, but um, it's good soil. I'm gonna go some good squash and lots of other things. So this is another area over at the Pueblo House Community Garden. Um, different style of plot and actually this plot here needs to be planted with some various herbs that we've purchased from a local hardware store um, and so we have some sweet basil some Thai basil over on this side I don't know if you can see it on camera and over here we have some um, this is Greek oregano and some rosemary over here and um, these plots have never been tilled up over the last couple of years that I'm aware of. And they have lots of straw and leaves that have fallen from the trees above. And so there's lots of mulch. And mulch is excellent for the soil. And in fact, um, these plots have gotten so moist because they're also under the tree that you can see some little mushrooms popping up over here. Now I don't think any of these mushrooms are actually edible. I'm not an expert at identifying mushrooms. But I'm pretty sure that these ones are not very good to eat, um, probably poisonous. So I'm not gonna take a chance with them. And, um, but in any case, I wanted to show you the soil because I also, like the other plot, wa had watered these uh, a bit yesterday. And um, moist, cool soil often will have mushrooms. And so these are brand new. I didn't notice these yesterday. Maybe they were there, but um, I noticed them today. And I'm gonna dig up a little area of the soil here. I have nothing planted over here just yet. And in fact, maybe I should go ahead and dig a hole to plant some of this oregano over here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start digging a hole. Let's say right about here. There's a bunch of little mushrooms popping up there. So we're going to dig right next to that. So mushrooms are a really good indicator that there's excellent soil. And actually, let me move aside 
can see that mulch you move aside the mulch and you could already see it's dark green or dark brown under there almost a black color real nice and moist and so I'm sticking my trowel down in there and you see how how clean that is and it's kind of crumbly it's still moist I didn't give it that much water yesterday so it's holding a lot of water and I haven't run into any worms yet in this hole got to dig a hole deep enough for that but you can see that's pretty good when I was digging in here last last time um, I planted some more down that way further I planted some of this sweet basil and I saw some worms come out as I was digging a hole so I know there's some worms in this soil I'm just not reaching any right now because it's not super moist but again you can see how how good that soil is and it's pretty moist and it could be better because um, we haven't really grown anything in this the last couple years and there's been weeds popping up but um, nothing intentionally and so when we weed in here we pull most of the weeds out from the root and that's something that generally we don't want to do with all the plants just the most uh, most persistent plants like this little elm tree seedling here you can maybe see that up close I'll put it up closer to the camera so you, you can probably see there's a lot of those popping up because there's an elm tree just right above us and so all the seeds have fallen down and now there's a bunch of elm trees popping out that's a little elm tree and here's a bigger version of it you can see so there's a whole bunch of those been popping up that we've been pulling out like weeds so yeah I found this worm here in um, the Pueblo house garden next to that oregano that I planted in the earlier part of the video I was digging a hole for another oregano plant to be planted and I found this gigantic earthworm in there so as you could tell oh look there's more worms and things crawling around down in that soil this is excellent soil and it's because the soil has been barely disturbed over the last couple of years and it's had some shade and some mulch shade isn't that important but mulch and non, not disturbing the soil are incredibly important. 